At this time, I have the honor to present to you the moral leader of our nation. I have the pleasure to present to you Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. I am happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. is still sadly crippled by the manacles of segregation and the chains of discrimination. It has since become our nation's capital to cash a check. Right. When the architects of our republic wrote the magnificent words of the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, they were signing a promissory note to which every American was to fall heir. This note was a promise that all men, yes, black men as well as white men, would be guaranteed the unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But we refuse to believe that the bank of justice is bankrupt. We refuse to believe that there are insufficient funds in the great vault of opportunity of this nation. So we have come to cash this check. A check that will give us upon demand the riches of freedom and the security of justice. Now is the time to lift our nation from the quicksand of racial injustice to the solid rock of brotherhood. Now is the time to make justice a reality for all of God's children. This sweltering summer of the Negro's legitimate discontent will not pass until there's a cigarette autumn of freedom and equality. 1963 is not an end, but a beginning. In the process of gaining our rightful place, we must not be guilty of wrongful deeds. Let us not seek to satisfy our thirst for freedom by drinking from the cup of bitterness and hatred. And as we walk, we must make a pledge that we shall march ahead. We cannot turn back. There are those asking the devotees of civil rights, when will you be satisfied? Go back to Mississippi. Go back to Alabama. Go back to South Carolina. Go back to Georgia. Go back to Louisiana. Go back to the slums and the ghettos of our northern cities, knowing that somehow this situation can and will be changed. I have a dream that even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. This is our hope. This is our hope. and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last!
full of the hope that the present has brought us facing the March on till victory is won. Singing the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last.